So, where are we at? Where do we leave off? I have a feeling that I was starting to bite off more than I could chew, because I started looking at something like the Balkans and going, oh man, I'm going to do everything here. Probably not the best idea to look at this and go, let's do everything, or else I'm going to end up with even worse spaghetti than I have. What I should do is look at this and go, okay, I should take care of what's reasonable here. I could cut out the heavy fabrics, work clothes, and winter clothes, because that will reduce the complexity of adding leather into everything, and instead get the fibers, summer clothes, napkins, and dyes in there. Oh, and the light fabric as well, I suppose. I wish I knew a bit about a bit more about how the population grows in regards to how much you supply. But still, that's what we'll do. Because I gotta remember my goal here is to make enough money and grow the cities so that I can produce the Christmas tinners. And once I have that operational, I'm going to start seeing what I could do with the UK. Because whilst it doesn't look like a huge amount of land, it wouldn't be that much to flatten down and to have it for building. It would certainly be a lot less expensive than flattening the Alps at this point. And those Alps will need to be flattened. My immediate thought was that Ireland could be used to produce a lot of wood, which the UK could then refine, possibly for France. France does have a toy store now, and it wouldn't be too tricky to produce trains and toy furniture for them. Although I can't help but notice that these other trains sell for a lot more money at the tiny cost of just adding some steel to it. Steel is not particularly difficult to crank out. It does cost... what does it cost again? Two ore and one bit of coal, but would you look at that? There's plenty of coal in the UK, and we do have this iron patch here, which wouldn't be too, bit, uh, too difficult to get over to the UK. I could imagine us... we could truck it over, we could even make a tiny little train station that goes over there, but I might even just zeppelin it over and get it over and then refine it into those. Or maybe we won't make the fancy trains and just settle for those. In any case, it's land that I own and I should be putting to good use. But we'll get on that after we clothe the Balkans, because they've been running around naked for a very long time now and they've been wiping their snot on each other because they haven't had access to napkins. I will fix all of this for them. But, how are we going to do that? Well, first I'm going to get the tech in. I was clicking on these before I even started up the stream, but yes, I need access to the textiles, the dyes, and the light fabrics. And once I have those, I'm going to want the napkins and summer clothes. Even though those are very expensive and will take, a time, uh, take time to research, they'll probably be worth my while. So, starting out, how much am I going to need by way of dyes? So immediately they will take eight dye. It's one to one berries into dye as long as you add water, which does tell me I'm going to need some water harvest around here. But on top of that, it's nice that they buy in berries, so anything extra that I make I could shunt over to them. But I already have a berry plantation. Then again, that berry plantation could be done away with. We'll, uh, I don't want to bring this down too much to a fine science because then, especially for a first run, I might take the magic out of it like it would. If you imagine your first playthrough of Factorio, you already had all the scales and all the proper things for building and you don't get to embrace the spaghetti. I think it would take something out of the experience. Maybe not so much for watching, but certainly for playing. In any case, it's plantations for berries. I need to think about my layout here at least a little bit. Hmm... Road does come down here, but I might just be better off. I think one, two, three, four. Over here. If I had you here, oh right, I didn't take into account that it slopes down there, did I? I certainly didn't. Thankfully, the game is very generous for you if you're already paused. Consider it from there. One, two, three, four. Then I can do it like so. And there's our berries straight up. Now that's only five berries every 15 days. They already want to drink more dye than that. On top of that, the dye is going to be needed for, oh, a lot of things, in fact. Quite a bit for the fabrics. 
and even more for the clothes. So a lot of berries are going to be needed. Two die into two clothes, and it's one for one, but it's only two units of clothes that I'm going to be making. And the light fabrics... Ah, the light fabrics again, two into two there. So one more fully functioning berry farm should take care of everything and probably leave me with excess berries. I wonder if the Russians eat berries. They absolutely don't. Do they take dye? No, they also don't. So I might run into a bit of a problem with overproduction of berries. But you know what? Maybe I shouldn't be worried about that. Let's just assume I'm not and carry on. Loving how cheap this stuff is to place down right now. Heavens, yes. Uh, I will want an urban road down here. Do I want this to be a one-way set of roads? I'm very bad at setting up good road networks for these kinds of things. But I don't think this is going to be so busy that that becomes a problem. At least I certainly hope it doesn't. Now, berries are one thing. Water is also needed for dyes, but I'm looking more at my cotton needs. Cotton into fibres. And fibres are needed for just about everything, and there's a high demand for fibres. Two into two, but these are made every 15 days, so I somewhat suspect I'm going to need a lot of cotton farming. And those are done in the plantations. One, a two... A three, a four, a five. I took out a hefty loan in order to make this come together. But I took the loan... Did I take it from the Russians or did I take it from the Balkans? I can't remember now. With Calcium saying, Jake, I just wanted to express my appreciation for your attempt to exploit all the resources that Europe has at its disposal to produce the most noble of meals. Yeah, let's us remind ourselves with what exactly our... Oh, no, no, no. That's not what I, want. I almost brought up my wheel of punishments there. There we go. The most noble of meals. This is what Europe has got to work towards creating. It's a while away, but we will get there. I thought about just keeping it on the stream the whole time, but that felt a little bit, you know. So I went against it. Um, right, two of these. That's going to be bringing out five bits of cotton every 15 days, but heavens knows we're going to need more than that, because these fabrics... That's eh, two to two, but they will buy any extra ones. Actually, thinking about it, two, two cotton plantations, it might be better off that way, that we underproduce in the fibres and just sell the excess, rather than going for more and more on that. Yeah, I could see that being a better case. Is there anything else I'm going to need to grow here, though? Don't summer clothes need wool? No, that's probably winter clothes, and they need the heavy fabric for it. So straight away this actually looks like it might just work out alright. If these guys come on down here... I don't know, part of me is thinking more, 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 but let's just try and resist that urge for a moment. I do like the idea of just straight up irrigating without much trouble. Couldn't I put you over here? Does that catch them all or not? Not sure it does. That certainly looks like it catches everything though. So if I stick the irrigation tower there, and on top of that if I have my water wells near enough by it, as long as they're within this vicinity it'll be alright. So I could actually probably put my water wells down by the, the edge here. Further question, do you think this is going to suck up water from the water extractors? Even if it doesn't, the water extractors take up way too much space. I'm actually not sure why you would ever use the water siphons unless you're really pushed for money. They are, there are pretty big savings on using those, but I am far from a fan of them now that I know the power of just using these water wells. One, two, three, four, five. And another one. One, two... Three, four, five. So they're going to drink that in, and these water wells will be enough for these farms. That will be enough for everything. Straight away that gets me that. But this stuff is going to need to keep coming on down. 
into the die zone. Now I actually want to keep this relatively close, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a pollution, an air purifier rather, put right here and it can take some water from over there. I'll have to make another water gatherer but that is okay. And that should keep these farms safe from any pollution that pours out from here. And there likely will be pollution. So we do that and we put another water gatherer right here. The difference being this water gatherer is actually going to deliver its water. One, two, three, four, five. You will have a destination for your water. Actually, I wonder. Couldn't I just undo that, have these guys overproduce and send extra water here? That sounds like a much more cost-effective idea. Good thinking, because this one's going to give us six water every 15 days, and the air purifier only eats one. So that actually works out quite well. There you go. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Wonderful. Now, that means I should be able to put down my polluters here with relative impunity. Straight away, how do we make the dyes? Your maths is off by a half, says Kaladin. On which side? That's ten cotton. Oh, as usual, I'm forgetting that each field pops out two each time. I wonder if my berries are off the same way. Yeah, it's going to be 10 berries each time, but I will need a lot of, um, I will need a lot of dye. 10 berries is 10 dye, which is nice. 10 cotton every 15 days. It's still going to be 10 fibers every 15 days, which is going to be enough to do plenty of light fabric. So it shouldn't be a problem. At least I'll believe it's not going to be a problem until it becomes a problem, and then I'll fix it. Uh, I've forgotten though, where do we make the dyes? It's easiest to just normalize all production on a 30 day timer. Mm, maybe. Where in the world do I do the dyes again? Dyes are done at the textile factory. Ah, but I haven't researched dyes, that's why it's not showing up there. It'll be done soon enough, until then these guys are going to fill up a bit. Actually means this air purifier doesn't need to be on, but I still want its goods delivered. Fortunately, both fibers and dyes will be done very quickly. It's actually probably for the better this way, because it means these guys... I'm not wasting upkeep on factories that can't actually produce anything. Tax break? All buildings upkeep down 25. Nice. Unfortunately, we're about to have uh, a nasty bit of outbreaks on our fields here. There we go. Excellent. So once you guys are operational, these plantations should be working. Jake Loans asks, how challenging is, is this game? It's as challenging as you want it to be. It's kind of like Factorio in that sense, if you didn't have the biters. You create the problems that you deal with in this game. Right. Textile Factroy. How many of these am I going to need? I'm going to need a ton of textiles coming out, so I probably want five of them. It already feels like quite a lot. I'm probably going to want to dump them into a warehouse down here that... Mm, I know people hate me using my trucks, but I do think trucking them down here is the best option for now. I mean, come on, putting trains through this? It's horrific. Although maybe, just maybe, we can go under the bulk of this and into here. But ah, forget it, we'll be trucking. Does, however, need a warehouse to bunk things into. You know, I could make this a complete one-way road. And then all the trucks that pop out go back up and in through that way. That would probably cut down on traffic quite a bit. Yeah, why not? 
<laughs> the truckers unions in my back pocket. Trucks are boring, trains are cool. I don't know, trains that can't collide with each other. Is it truly that cool? Right, textile factories. Hang on, do you guys do dyes as well? You do both. Well, that's quite wonderful. It means that the dye ones can be on this side and textile ones on that side. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's get that warehouse set up here. Don't like that one though, so I should probably have it mirrored. That way it can come in this side and pop out the other end. Just one way road it all the way in. Oh, one way road it all the way in. And then one way road you all the way out. So much terraforming. I'm looking forward to the moment in this game where I have so much money that I... Oh, this didn't become one way, did it? I guess... Oh, Christ, you know. I guess not. I'm looking forward to having so much money I can just terraform the hell out of everything and never, never worry again. Right. I want you to do what exactly? Probably before I think about that, I should see how many of these I can be putting down. I could shift click them, I wonder if it increments when I do that. Five, four, da 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 da. What do I make light fabric in, by the way? Light fabric is produced in yet another textile factory. It does pump out two, but it pumps out, pumps out two a little slower. How many dye factories am I going to be doing? Because I could have my textile factory here and here. Oh well, there's not much point in thinking about that right now because I can't produce it, so let's just undo that. We'll have all these doing the textiles, we'll have them pump them out soon enough. But now I need more of these for the dye. How much dye again? It's a similar thing, but it does need its water coming in. Which is all the more reason I might want to make another one of uh, these. But, 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 I see a little reason not to have five of them. Yeah, so five on this side as well. It's going to get a bit cluttered, isn't it? It's okay, clutter's what we're here for. One, two, three, four, and five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, nice they are. They are numbered the way I want them to be. Starting to think that maybe you shouldn't be there, and I could run this round a bit more so that I have more space to get my um, my factories that are going to pump out the clothes and the, uh, the fabric. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense to me. Regrettably, I just delete this and I get less money back than I poured into it, but I have such a big reduction on my building costs, so that's not much of an issue. Smooth this out a bit. And, 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 and... No, that's the wrong way around, so I want this mirrored. Nice of the game to offer you them mirrored like that. I hope that leaves me enough space. Those textile factories are four wide. So I can get another one in there. I can't help but feel I should offer myself as much space as possible. No, I don't like that. I want it to be one more further down. Thank you, terraforming. Yeah, because I want to give it uh, one, two, three, four over there, da, 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 and then one, two, three, four. That makes a bit of sense to me. Okay. Right, good, and the fabrics are made here, and the clothes are made there, and hopefully there's enough space for both of those things. Of course, all, these, all of these need to be set to dies. 
and they will be thirsty for water. They'll be thirsty for, well, that's five water every 15 days. So that necessitates another water well. One right out here, chucking it down. That's a lot of water to be pouring down here, but easily enough solved. I mean, I essentially did just go out to make myself bankrupt in this game, but we managed to turn it all around, which is okay. I think I can have the water well here. The space isn't exactly being used for anything. So, gatherer, one more water well right about there. One, two, three, four, and five. And your job. Thankfully, I have plenty of destination things here. Someday I'm going to learn to trust automatic distribution setups. Today ain't that day. Don't know why I'm giving them five here, but they're unlikely to ever reach that. There you go. So this should all operate fairly swiftly. Uh, I didn't tell these guys to dump their goods into the warehouse if they have excess, though, did I? Start to wish I'd done that for the first one and just copied it over. Mm, but they'll back up with a bit, of, uh, a bit of stuff to begin with. There we go, locusts. Now, the question is how long do locusts last? And I wonder if it affects everything. Oh god, my orchards are... 0% efficiency? Oh. Oh. Okay, so... Normally they do something bad, now they just do something extremely bad. All of them? All... Holy moly, that's bad. How long does that last? I don't want to go and manually turn everything off because that takes forever, but something's going to back up with that. Well, I guess this isn't starting off. Does improving the budget here affect it in any way? Still looks like it's on... Oh, well, no. Looks like it... it, it is it working at all? No, I don't think it is. Straight up no production. Pathing alert. Ah, right. One slight issue is that there's no way back around for this, is there? So perhaps there should be a way out over here. So, uh, game, how long are those locusts going to last? Because that's pretty bad. Amazing that locusts would spread all across Europe like that. Or am I about to learn that it's a permanent effect? Well, good thing I got that upkeep down, but... Farm upkeep plus 50% whilst at the same time producing zero is a brutal one. going to be... Well, they're going to be a tough one. I'd love to deliver rubber to you, but my rubber farms are all... gone. A hundred percent down from locusts. Please, game, have mercy. Well, that means all these textile factories are just wasting money away with upkeep since I can't fill them up with anything. You can downgrade the budget to cut the losses, paying 100% instead of 150, but it's, it, is a, it is a ton of micro to go and turn off all my farms. I don't want to do that, and I certainly don't want to turn them back on afterwards. Oh well, we just gotta power through it. Oh. Who's growing? Iberia! Iberia just got their fourth shop. Oh, and it's clothing. There's something funny about that, but I'm not sure exactly what. Ah, 
Alright, there's very little I can do until these locusts pass. Well, actually, I can continue with my research, can't I? We're getting our napkins, and then we'll get ourselves those clothes. Well, there is money in the piggy bank, but it's not necessarily my money. It's the... Wait, it says Recluver Loan? Why is it using the wrong name? Oh well, who's to say? Successfully delivered the pulp to Iberia, damn right. Production alert, yeah, I know. I know. Destination storage is full, it's because the water's not being used. And those are our R&D alerts, no problem. Goodness, we haven't faced uh, monthly losses for a long time. Nasty thing is, we still would have gotten a negative effect if we had... Um, if we delivered the chemicals. But it went to 25 chemicals in short order. I don't think I even pump out that many chemicals. What do we do, four every 15 days? Rough one, very rough. Monthly payments of all existing and new loans reduced by 23%. That's probably quite good. That'll pay itself off pretty quickly, I'll take it. And hopefully I won't be outcompeted. Damn right I won't. That's actually making it a good opportunity to take out more loans, but maybe I'll do that for Britain. Okay, thank god the locusts are gone. What a horrible event. No, Iberia, you're not getting your, your leathers. Right, now the water should go around. Hopefully my production alerts will go away soon. And despite it being a chilly winter, we can grow all the berries and cotton that we need over in the Balkans. That's, oh right, I didn't actually tell these guys to deliver now, did I? No, no, I did not. But I'm telling you now, these go to the dye factories. Not even sure I should set um, a maximum on them, but it seems like a prudent thing to do. What are all these poppy up things I'm getting? I dread to think how much those locusts just uh, massacred my setup. I only need to set those numbers once because this other place will remember them. Uh, 10, and much the same for my cotton fields. Give us resources or we wreck your industry for half a year. No, I don't care if you're actually producing any of the stuff I asked for. I wouldn't mind it so much if you, t if you disabled the event by getting them the resources, but you don't. You just make it half as bad. Either way, it's going to scupper all of your well-placed plans here. I'm not sure if there's any way to disable such an event, but... I guess you just gotta roll with the punches. I'd rather it just said, we're gonna take X amount of millions away from you. But maybe that's just part of the challenge here. Uh, that's right, I need you to be doing much the same. Then again, I'm the kind of guy that turns off natural disasters in my city builders. Oh, that's nice. Love seeing that in my one ways. All of the... Uh, why, why would there be anyone, any delay here? Why are you turning onto that side? You got a perfectly good, oh, I see. They all want to turn back around that way. So they're going onto that side. Hmm. That might not be a problem, but it is backing it up some. Oh, probably not a problem. Looks fine. Although, I can see that pollution start to come on out. Oh, because I didn't turn you on. That'll be part of it. Let's get that on. And what are all my production alerts here? Right, all these water wells are working too hard. Hub disabled. Maybe it's automatically disabling them for me. 
but it'll probably be a while before this thing has anywhere near enough of its uh, water used up. I could dump the water. Not sure I like that idea more than just disabling some of you until the need for water is dire. There we go. Now they'll be back up and operational. Now, 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 now. You're piling up in the die, and I want to use that die. Also, I left myself space for textile factory that I just filled up with road. Shame on me. Still, with that, I want to be able to have my light fabrics, which need the textiles and dyes. 30 days giving us two. And they only have a demand for two. So two setups would do that. But I need a... Another setup for you. It's going to take quite a few since it's done 45 days here. It's going to need quite a bit of light fabrics, maybe. Just maybe. I haven't afforded myself enough room here. Oh well, we'll build with what we have anyway. So in this case, I want textile factory and it's all downwind from everything so this should be fine one two three we're doing the light fabrics oh, actually I should just have the one here and then I set you up for destination into oh then again I'm gonna to want to warehouse some of it and send others to the Nah, never mind then. Some to the warehouse and some to the... Clothing factory. Down the line. I'm really sad. I tried to find if you buy tinners here in the USA. No such luck. Doubtlessly the USA has something of that. Something to that effect. Right. Textile factories for sure. Mm -hmm. These guys put it into the textile factory. What am I producing here then? One, two, three, four. Or rather, this is putting out three every 15 days. And what do we need to make the summer clothes here again? Two of these will make two summer clothes, so actually I just need one more and I have everything I need for all the clothing needs. But the napkins need some as well, don't they? Yeah, the napkins are made of light fabric. In fact, three light fabrics make two napkins. Maybe I'd be better off ignoring the summer clothes and making napkins instead, since I am running tad low on space. It's an idea. 45 days with three of those, huh? What if I have another one of you? Then I'm making these two fulfill the market demand. And these two are going to bring out another two of those. Well, if I made three, that would get me the two. All right, so yet one more. It's going to be a bit hefty on the pollution, but so be it. It's also going to be hefty on my needs for these goods. There, there, there. There, and... Oh, I did you twice. Eleven, twelve... 13, uh, 13 and 14. Okay, go figure. We got that thing again. 15. Something is not quite right with the incrementer there. 14 and 15. Give them like three each. Very good. And we'll do the same for the rest of these. 
I'm certain I'm making more work for myself than I need to with this. There must be a better way to do it via... Um, via a central warehouse. That way I don't have to individually do these, reducing down to five more. But this way it gets to do it in a lovely one-way route that I rather like. I'm not sure I could do the same using a warehouse. But it's certainly something to look into. If nothing else, this will be a good way to uh, to pump out textiles, and I should be able to just leave it and it'll work forever, or so I hope. Oh, you want to know ruined bacon? Greenwood back bacon isn't really a done thing here. Swedes only seem to care about streaky bacon, and I'm not streaky bacon's biggest fan, if you compare it to back bacon. But it's just one of the many culinary disasters of living in Sweden. Probably one of the big reasons that I decided to get into cooking quite a lot for myself. Just because the, the food the food available here is just so bad. Oh, one thing I haven't done for all these places, and I will need to, is tell them to send any excess over to the uh, the warehouse here. But the warehouse one should only take if they have some left over. Make sure I do that for these ones as well. Good thing I gave these guys six destination slots. If I hadn't, they'd have a lot of work ahead of themselves. This is definitely, definitely the poster boy of what I meant earlier by this game is very relaxing and also very stressful. Juggling all the numbers in your head, very stressful. But putting together your roots like this, really quite calming. So these guys should get all those goods that they need, any access over to warehouse, as long as there's the min cat held to. And then I just tell... hang on, didn't I tell you to do that? Why did I have to tell both of you to do max scent, I wonder? Maybe I missed it for one of them. Sounds likely. UK staples missing here in Sweden. Mmm, the selection of cereal that they have here is god-awful. Probably a big reason that I switched to having porridge for cereal, uh, for breakfast. Everything is very expensive. I went out to buy some chicken just earlier, about 300 grams of chicken breast, roughly five quid. Now that's, that's madness, that is. Okay, one more of these textile places. And we're good. And maybe somewhere that could be considered normal, but oh my no. Maybe I'm just not keeping up with the times, which is also likely. I do like to ignore the world. Right, with that as it is, I could actually move my clothes production to be over here quite handily, because the textiles can pop out over in there directly. I will want to flatten this out for it, though. Jings, I built all that and it felt like I didn't actually spend any money. I guess they were very cheap thanks to a lot of these things working together. But still, that'll go down and now I need my... It wasn't uh, clothes, it was napkins. Right, very good. In that case... In that case... Everything should be going over to there or to our napkin factory. I'll do that after I have the napkins unlocked, though. And yeah, with that in mind, I might actually not do the clothes. The napkins alone will suffice and not overcomplicate things, and then I can go and start dealing with the UK. Oh, I love seeing these things actually start up and get working. I don't know why 15's not working here. They're just waiting on some goods to come in. They've got the dyes. Probably just waiting on those textiles. 
Production alert, irrigation tower, storage full already. Well, I failed to see how that's my problem, but I will reduce your functionality. Two of these should have all these done. Oh, I bet you're soaking up excess from here. Yes, you are. And this may well have excess. Ah, well, not a problem. In fact, it probably means that I can turn you guys down a bit. There we go. Save a bit of save a bit of dosh on that. And if that ever becomes a problem, we can just go and put them back up to 100%. Now, factory, textile factory. As these things come out of here, we can just have it slam in there and there. Do I want it done on that side? Do I want it done on this side? Doesn't really make many odds to us, does it? This is the smog zone anyway. And the trucks do have to go back into here though, don't they? I wonder if I would benefit from putting another little one way that goes back into here or just feeds into it, because nothing's going to come into here just to go into there. But things that come out of here, uh, they do clog up this road a bit. Yeah, that might actually work to my advantage. There we go, just in case that's ever needed. This textile factory though. And yeah, maybe keep it over here, because this is going to be a relative smog zone. Ah, right, just how many napkin makers does a man need? The napkins use up three of those to do that, or two every 45. Uh, these two together are going to do one and a half and... Th oh god, here comes the mental arithmetic already. I don't like it. I'm gonna make my life easier if I just make three of them and say three of them's gonna do two, and two will fulfill our needs. So there you go. So that means these textile factories. I wonder if it'd be better if they all just went into the warehouse, because the warehouse can shove them out here pretty wholesale. Yeah, so I'll just tell all of them to go to the warehouse. Not like truck dispatch costs cost very much. It's all relative by now, but this is okay. Over you go, and same for you. Everything goes into this warehouse. And the warehouse takes its tier 2 light fabrics and sends it over to there and there and there. Do it when it's full. Make sure they get up to six of them, please. And... I also want you to sell these to the Balkans clothing store if and only if. Yeah, meet demand and only do it if you have cloth left over. How much left over? Like four or so. And these napkins can actually send it back into the warehouse like so if I want to cut down on costs. And I don't see a good reason not to. So your destination is that warehouse now and forever. This is a lovely simple thing to set up because napkins are tier 3 and only require one ingredient. That alone makes them pretty damn nice for this. Over to that glowing store, please meet demand. Right, now I speed up to make sure this actually works take a, over a month for it to actually come into fruition. Deliver lots of fibres to Iberia. I think I'll pass. It's, it's a bit more work than I'm willing to go for. Couldn't help but notice nothing's being delivered to these textile factories. There we go. That's a lot of trucks flowing out of there. Hopefully it doesn't become an issue here. Doesn't look to be though. Just lots of trucks that need to go and rejoin this, which is fine. Mm 
Tell me it's something like I'm not actually producing as much as I thought I am here. What is taking us so long? You really aren't getting your goods here, are you? Tell you what, I've forgotten to tell you to actually sell those dyes. I'm not sure I have any of these um, fabrics or these textiles left over though, do I? Because these guys use... each of them use two in 30 days. And you produce. Now you produce two in 15 days, so by rights I should have some left over. Why are these guys not pumping out excess fibers? Actually, they are. They're piling up. The problem is I haven't told them to give their extras to the... No, I did tell them. Ah, but we're not on min kept yet. I understand. We're fine then. Still, though, the tier one fibers... Should be going to the clothing store. Meet demand. Send fool, please. Still regretting the send fool, though, because it's probably not going to reach the fool demand. I should really just stop using that. It's a, it is folly. Yeah, because they'll back, they'll back up enough if it works out fine. I just don't want to spend extra on the, on the. Transport costs there. What else do we have? Where's our dyes at? Dye, similar effect. Send over there and meet demand. Uh, out they pop, making me money and costing me dispatch. Let's see, seems to be selling. Sending three, 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 and it's only sending one because it needed that extra to meet demand. I'll believe it. This I don't like though. Sends out one, and sends out one. Send them both out in a single van, you fool. But if I wait until fool, they're never going to send, are they? Eh, I could try. I'll keep an eye and see if they ever send out the napkins. This bit does get a little bit clogged, but overall it doesn't seem to be causing many problems. The pollution certainly is, but it's kept on this side. This guy's staying over here to keep our... What's this seismic activity? There's been a lot of minor seismic activity here in Europe. Could, le could be a good idea to improve our mining operations, or reinforce them. Deliver planks and steel to Scandinavia, otherwise coal... Glassworks and... Co oh, well, that's not very good. But sending steel and wooden... Pl I do not like these events. I just want to set up my infrastructure here, not have this nonsense going on. Do I even have these linked to go to Scandinavia? Now, these ones just go straight to the smelters. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, wooden planks I can send, no problem, but the other stuff, hmm. Means I would have to put down a minimum kept on each of these. And then tell you to send over to Scandinavia proper. Hopefully it's not going to send more than they demand. And then I think the wooden things are coming into here. Yeah, there we go. And I have min kept too. So I can go to wooden planks and say send those over to Scandi World, please. And that should take care of that. And good. Even my napkin place there is working extra. Hard to deliver what I need. There we go. Got all the steel you need. And hopefully no excess steel is being sent. Yeah, they're on their way back. Good. 
It reduced congestion between warehouse 20 and the tissue factories. You could bypass uh, right of the single tissue factory so that the other vans turn right at the crossing. Let me see if I can digest that into something I understand. You could make a bypass right of the tissue factory so that other vans turn right. Mm. I think they all take this because they know where they want to turn left onto this. That might not make any sense. However, my counterpoint is that it's not a problem. It's all flowing fine. And since I don't plan on touching this for a long time, if ever, we'll just leave it be. Because it's, it's there to print me money and to, con to continue to grow the Balkans. And since the Balkans are now getting their dyes, their fibers, their at least some light fabric, and their napkins, they should be good to go. I'm actually unsure if I'm getting any excess light fabric here. It will send to the clothing store. Well, actually, thinking about it, these guys only gobble up um, three light fabric every 15 days. And I produce five, so there is some going out there to the Balkans. Wonderful. Storage is full in the irrigation tower. Wow, and I've already dropped these down. How much more can a man drop these down? Well, what I could actually do is just turn, turn one of them off, but I'm surprised. Because these guys need their water. How can the irrigation tower be so full? That doesn't make much sense to me. Uh, no, it still doesn't make much sense to me. And it went away on its own, so I'm sure it's fine. Okay, I'm going to say that's working out fine. I'm also going to repay that loan because I appear to be swimming in money right now. That's what I get for investing in the Balkans. And hopefully the Balkans will continue to grow without much more input from me. Now, what I don't particularly like is that Scandinavia is as large as it is, and hell, Iberia must be even larger. Yeah, 339,000 and prospering. What are you making pollution with? Uh, they're, pr they're putting textiles into Iberia, and Iberia's getting those disgusting high-rises. No, it's time that we made something else, and that something else is going to be some toys for France, because we don't supply anything to this poor little place. It's telling me off once again. Irrigation tower here. What can I do with you? I'm surprised, though. So one water well is good for two farms. Here we have two for four farms. This one's extra, but it should be supplying plenty of water to the dyes factory. What's a man to do? I don't think I can turn down the water on this, otherwise there won't be enough water for the textiles, or maybe there will. The textile factories only need one every 15 days rather than two, so I'm actually going to... Yeah, I'll knock you down a bit, and then hopefully that's going to stop alerting, and when it becomes... when it flips the other way, then I'll deal with it. You do not have yourself backed up with water, so it looks like I can turn these back on. It's all just a problem caused by those blessed locusts. Should be renamed the Irritation Tower. Certainly trying its best to irritate me. Right, well, as is usual with my life, let me take out my frustrations on the Irish by flattening their island. It's expensive, I know, but in the end I'm going to want to flatten just about everything in Europe just so I have a nice place to work with. And what are we going to do? Well, actually, I kind of want to flatten England as well, and that's going to be even more expensive. Maybe I could just flatten it later. Well, whatever the case, I need to grab lots of wood from Ireland here. How am I going to be doing that?
He's thinking, he's thinking. Maybe that's a little too far. Maybe that's not far enough. Ah, it actually might be okay. If I have you and you here, and I set up a lot of wood cutting farms over here, and then England just pumps out everything made of wood that we could possibly want. I know we just horrifically pollute England. It'd be quite nice for the Irish. The Irish are going to have their lovely clean island here and England's just going to be sinking in pollution. Storage is full. Now that... Oh, right. Wait. Damn it, I just checked you. You were fine before. How could you do this to me? Maybe I didn't check enough. All right. Off you guys go. And then the irritation tower is doing it to me again. How can this be? I don't get it. How are you getting so much water from some from such underworking um, wells here? It is a mystery to me, but I'm not going to dump that water. Tell you what, if it's that much of a bother, I'm just going to turn you off and turn you off, and I'll turn you on when I get alerted that there isn't enough water over there. How is not having an extremely polluted England any different from modern England? Who says there was differences here? Right, I am concerned about the sheer cost of this, though. Look at that. Flattening England is going to cost something like 33 million, so that might be a bit much at this juncture. But if I build anything on the elevated land, I'll have to destroy it in order to flatten it later. Still thinking... Do, do, do. Moving over to France. Well, what am I going to be making? Toy furniture for one. Wooden trains for two. It would be nice if I could make other things out of wood. I think uh, France already gets plenty of regular wood coming in. These super toy trains with their super prices are quite tempting to make. With just... A well, it's more than a little bit of steel. It's quite an expensive amount of steel. Where in the world can you not reach? You cannot reach the farmer's market. Which farmer's market? The troubling thing is, I don't know which farmer's market this one's meant to be going to with mutton. Okay, apparently you want to go down here. Did my AI friend cut off access to this somehow? No, it looks accessible to me. What's your problem? I don't get it. Instead of flattening all of England, why not raise all of England? Could be a cheaper alternative. Mm, there's more flat land than raised land, I think. And flat land's going to be easier to work with regardless. But I think I might get away with just slamming all the stuff on the raised area anyway. Uh, or, or... We do it in Wales. If we make do with just flattening Wales, there should be plenty of place to, uh, space to work with. I don't get it. What's your problem? How can you not reach? I wonder, is this all my truck? There was never... it was never that busy going down there before. Just sink England into the ocean. <laughs> no, we're not we're not going down that path. Not yet at least. 
I already have this warehouse set up here, so if I have all my wooden tinkering done, it can easily be sent over. And these roads aren't busy either, so it wouldn't be it wouldn't be rough to do so. Although people won't like me using trucks, what can I say? Truckers are my good friends, how could I turn my back on them? I should think a little bit about how much I'm going to be needing and or wanting for this. Also, do I want these guys connected up down here? I might not. I might actually want them to have two roads through here. Let me think about this a little bit better. If I had you set up here, and then... What I can do is delete this. Is that going to be enough? What if I had a road bridge? Blocked by terrain or building. It looks fine to make with your belly aching. Ah, so that's how you build them. Okay. Construction alert. Yeah, I know. I'm working on that. Don't you worry. Why would that be a problem? You screwing with me here, game? No, I don't think it is. I think it needs a certain amount of free space. So I could do that, for example. And then the... Then I can have you come along here. Oh, well, you might want to... I want to meet up a bit closer with your pal. How are we going to get over to you here? With oh, a bit of terraforming. Can I have adjacent... Um... Can you have adjacent bridges? Maybe you can't. Let's try it. There we go. Nicely done. Hey. It's funny, compared to building the trains, roads are actually quite fun to build with. Trains really aren't. I think that's a game you're much better playing a dedicated train game for. I might be kicking myself here a bit by having too much... Um, there's going to be too many trucks going along here with wood. I should probably pat them down a bit. Then again... Then again, maybe not. Each of these are going to pump out five each time. They're going to come along here on the left, deposit what they need and come back. I don't know about that. I don't really know till I see it in action. Transport fever is good, but factories are few. It's more about transportation. Yeah, the troubling thing about a game like this is it all comes down to logistics. It really does feel like it's all down to that. And this wouldn't be as big a deal if I did have them pack uh, packaged out into um, into denser trucks for bringing over rather than just having them as individual ones. It would also mean a lot less work telling them where to go. Let's see, they would come in here, da 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 da, and they'd come out and back around. Left in, left back, and they would come here. The ones going left wouldn't be a problem, the ones turning right would be a considerable problem. Yeah, because anything coming left up here would be blocked off, but I think we might be able to, might be able to handle that, no problem. Downside is just how much space this thing's going to be taking up, but in you go regardless. And I would want another warehouse, probably a mirrored one, all things considered. And I would do much the same here.
Uh, people turning out there might not be a problem. We'll see. Right, that may or may not give me problems. We'll see. But my idea here is to actually have quite a nice, lush Ireland. So you're just going to shove everything into that warehouse. And then we're going to have more of you. One, two, three, four, five. All the way down. Yeah, for all I know, I might not need as many lumber things as I'm putting in here, but I want to be able to crank out loads of wood from Ireland. And this will be a nice test of how one side of this does. If I put everything on one side for now, I can always fill up the other one later. Right, so it's all going into this warehouse. Aren't the Irish all fish? Well, we don't have... Uh... Oh, you're saying lush, not fish. Uh, leave that to your imagination. What is it Eurysta said about the haunting of Castle Malloy? It's not set in Ireland, it's set in an American's idea of what Ireland could be like. Right, toy f Oh my god, I haven't researched the toys which I need for this, have I? No, no, I have not. Well, let's get on that. We want our toy furniture, our wooden trains. Uh, <laughs> more demands for those... Um, for that light textile there. But that toy train set really speaks to me. If I could just have more steel over here. No, you see, when you build in the UK, in Caesar 3, Electron, it's all northern, so there's no risk of fire at all. I think the only way to get a fa fire is if a protester burns something down and it spreads. And maybe Mercury can do the same. Feels a bit bad only giving them two things that they ask for, but the doll asks for a little too much. I could give them stuffing. Stuffing would be easy to give. Easily done at a toy factory. One bit of cotton make... Wow, that's very easy to make. In fact, I could just throw one of these in, no problem. So it's got three of them. If I put in another two... You'll be none the wiser. Let's see, how much stuffing do you want again? Every 15 days. A bit of cotton. Well, that's only one field. The three fields. Three fields of cotton will get us that. Out of nowhere at the French cotton plantation. And that says you need to go and feed them with a wee bit of extra water. You'll probably end up with a bit too much water in this water siphon, but you'll be fine. Is this man addicted to tinner or what? I really like this game. Really, really do like it, so no problem playing plenty of it. Where are we going to make the stuffing though? Because a toy factory... Toy factory could be done over here. That wouldn't be much of a pain for us. Factory, toy factory... Oh right, I need to research that as well. There you go. Mostly I just want to have a few goods in here so that France will continue to grow. I don't like the idea of the likes of Iberia growing more than us, and that's my own doing because I've been supplying Iberia so much. Toy furniture should be done nice and easily. Also, these guys, I believe, replant trees, so I don't need to worry about that. In they go, and back out they come. Well, that, that was flush. Oh, there was no problems there. Excellent. And I've got both the things I want in the toy factories. What's the scale of production here? The scale of production is probably me being yelled at for having too much wood here, but I can change that down the line. Let's see. 
2 into 2, so I want 1, 2, 3, 3 toy train makers. If I had a fourth one we'd have excess and that's no good. So 3 toy train makers and 3, three wooden seat makers. 3 and 3, easy peasy. And it's all close to the smog anyway. And they can all bring their toys into here and they'll be brought out further. Excellent. I wonder if I can have these merge in some way. Merge like you would merge conveyor belts in Factorio. One, two, three. Three. One, two, three. Except you guys do toy trains. They need to be able to come back, so it's not like I can just make it one way. But generally they're going to be coming up that way left and that way left, so how would one do this? I wonder if I could make it I could make this go one way and then anything coming out would loop back around the other way. I have no way no idea of knowing that this would work, but let me think, you'd be on the left here and you'd be on the left here. No, this would probably become a mess. Probably become a mess. Of course, this way they're all going to merge into this one way regardless. Perhaps if they were taking that right, they would turn the way I want them to, but these guys would just turn that way. Besides, I'm not even using one side of these roads, so it's probably not worth worrying about right now. You there. I want that wood out of here. Wood is worth so little on its own. Toy factory, should always send fool, and make sure they have, I don't know, six will do. Okay, and same for the other three. So relaxing knowing that I'm going to be covering, covering England in the smog. How could I have anything against this concentrated perfection of Britishdom and industrialization? I'm not sure how well known the British were for pumping out cheap wooden toys, but me and my brothers certainly enjoyed our fair share of train sets back in the day. Loved me some Thomas the Tank Engine. They were, uh, they were a bit of a drain on batteries, but really, what toy wasn't? There we go. And now you folks just need to send your toys over to this warehouse. Every last one of them. And then that warehouse will take care of distribution. I don't think this will be the end of how we industrialize Britain though. This is this is too small. Surely there's more I can do. For one, I'd want to pump out some more toy trains, and those toy trains would be combined with some steel to make better toy trains. The iron ore is right here, so I'm really just missing out by not doing it. How would I handle that best? Get that iron ore over to Britain somehow, merge it with the coal, make the steel play. I'm, I'm sitting on money by not doing this, so I definitely should. Whatever Jake did to the Netherlands, they brought it on themselves. Yeah, they shouldn't have been sitting on all that natural gas. 
I did what any upstanding entrepreneur would do. Okay, this iron ore needs to get to uh, England, and I suspect Zeppelin is the best way to do it. So I could put it into this warehouse, connect this warehouse to its own very own personal Zeppelin field, which will, as usual, involve some flattening. But perhaps not as much flattening as I thought. What do you mean, can't terraform? Try harder. There you go. And now I just need to exploit this iron and create a larger smog zone. Gather... Iron mine... Let's do it in F8 mode so it's easier to tell what's what. What do you mean can't be built on block to... Ah, there's iron right there. to make my life hard here, don't you? Is that because it needs to be terraformed? No iron ore in this region? What are you talking about? We're looking right at it. Oh. Oh, it has a weird way of detecting the region. It checks for the front door to see if the iron's in the region. It's not good at detecting iron that's there. Okay. I can sort that. Like so. Sadly, they're not doing more work on this game, so I don't think log uh, logging bugs is going to do much good. They're working on their next game, which is regrettably in early access. In fact, you get advertisements for it within the game, but oh, well, what can you do? Ah, <sighs> So, Iron Ore, over to this warehouse, and then Zeppelin over to Britain. Unless I want to... No, I don't want to turn it into steel here. I want to turn it into steel on Smogville, a.k.a. Britain. And that could be done here easily enough, or closer to the coal source. Since it'll be taken out and shoved up, I'll probably make this more the coal source. I want to turn Scotland into a place where whiskey is produced, so the smog zone is going to have to stop at the border. But that's okay, I can always set up some things to handle the pollution. Is the Italian peninsula too, or is it North? No, we've got the Italian peninsula right here. We've even got a wee touch of North Africa. The only part that matters though, a bit of oil there. And uh, a chunk of the Ottomans, but it's horrible for building on. However, if you had the money to terraform and flatten this, it would be brilliant for building on. And you wouldn't need to terraform all of it to have something reasonable to build on. If you just take a middling height and flatten that across it, it would be quite good. In fact, we can have a little brainstorm here. Okay, now it's already difficult to afford. But what about this? Yeah, actually, a few dozen million and you've got some... Got some prime land for building on, but I want to have it all flattened. I would have given myself a much easier time if I hadn't brought in heights on this height map. But saying all that got me distracted. What was I thinking about? This iron ore, uh, I want it worked as... Well, I want it worked 125. I'm not convinced 150 is actually going to net me anything good here. Actually, 10 days... No, I prefer 12 days because that way I get 6 every 15 days and that's easier for me to calculate. In any case, shunt it all over to the warehouse. And this warehouse is going to shunt it all over to here. Costs a lot, but what's new? Oh, right, it needs a, a Zeppelin field to receive it. How silly of me not to anticipate Britain's need for a Zeppelin field. Now, about that. Get over there by Zeppelin. Costs quite a lot, but I think the Zeppelins have decent capacity. Although, whether or not I've added to that, I don't know. I have not. Add three capacity to them, please. Once we have our stuffing available. 0.8 million. 
And I want those toy trains. Actually, I probably want the toy trains first. So now there, we're going to have the iron here. The iron will be brought up to some factories for it. Which ones are they? Glassworks and smelters. Adding to the smog zone. Mayhaps I could have you come up here first so I can have this to work around. How many are we going to need? We're bringing in six bits of steel or six bits of iron every 15 days. And these guys are going to process two every 15 days, so I want three of them. Which is going to put out more steel than I think I can use for my toy trains, isn't it? So I might want to think what else I can do with all that steel. Also, you are backed up with 30 units. I thought these things that I told you to use the steel for would be put to use, but... No, actually, I think I have you that because if something else got backed up, let's not worry about that. Let's think more about those trains. These fancy Dan trains only need one bit of steel each, so I'm only going to need three bits of steel every 15 days, and I'm making six. Is there anything else I can use to drink up that steel? I don't know. But at least we'll have it here for if and when we need it. So factory, glassworks, and schmelter. One... Two, three, and of course our RGO. Yes, there is sea transportation in this game, Rebel Ham. If you have lots of ships or lots of uh, lots of islands, rather, you can get yourself lots of ships and deal with that accordingly. I'll just have this on the end of the road. A one, a two. I don't know how much coal I'm going to need here. Probably not that much. Yeah, one bit of coal every 15 days, so I only need three of these being extracted. One, two, three. You're gonna send that coal into here. They don't need so much of it. The lengths I go to to give the people of France some nice toy trains to play with. Some nice British toy trains to play with, I might add. This means I need more toy factories going. Mm, how long does it take you to make these trains again? 15 days to make two. But that's alright, the, the demand for those kinds of trains is rather high. These more expensive trains, considerably less. Only three. Mm, every 30 days you make two. So I want three of them making these. And I want two regular toy train makers. Yeah, good, 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 good. I've got it all sorted out in my head. Yes, I do. Goodness, this is a lot of toy training. I hope this doesn't get shock a block, but it shouldn't. Should being the operative word, or shouldn't rather. So, 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 so. Oh, I don't have the technology done for these yet, do I? No, I don't. In that case, forget we ever put those down, and once we have access to the trains, we'll do them. But we have stuffing coming in first. No problem. At least these things can get operational now. Heavy pulp to Scandinavia. That's nice and all, but a couple million is no longer worth my time, in my opinion. Alright, we've got the stuffing, which is good, because this plantation has nothing to do with the cotton right now. How many stuffing places did we decide we needed for France? Just like real life Merseyside. You feeling at home yet, John? I'm slowly trying to choke out England with industrial revol uh, revolving. You know, I calculate these things and instantly forget them, don't I? I need three stuffing factories.
Wait, who does the stuffing? I think toy factories do. Wow, England is getting worse and worse by the minute. Now I could do it over here and just get rid of the pollution, but England is toy zone right now. One, two... And I'm gonna leave a bit of a space in case I want this road coming up here. Plantation, go over to Toy World. Expensive on the dispatch, disappointingly so. It would, it might even be better to have a warehouse dedicated to bringing them up, but I'm not going to bother with that here. I'll give them a wee bit extra in case they need it. And then the stuffing is right next to the warehouse, so I might as well shove it in there and then shove it over to... Fr or... I could uh, condense down those trucks by putting it into the warehouse, but... Come on, it's a free ride into France, just sell it directly. Uh... Oh, right, yeah, and the toy store is right there, how convenient. To meet demand, I can't imagine us somehow being able to beat demand. But there we go. Now you're getting your stuffing, your toy trains, your little toy seats, and soon you'll get even better toy trains. As soon as I have them researched, and I'm working on it as fast as I can. Take about a month and a half. Truck speed increased. Ah, it'll just go away and then I'll wish I had it back. So, what's your problem? You should, by all accounts, have the goods you need by now. Ah, well, we're waiting on it. The Zeppelin field is bringing it over as we speak. No, don't send one unit, send full units, please. They land, they should go in here by truck, and then these will begin operation soon. Except they don't. Are you... Ah, because I didn't actually tell you to spread them, you're actually just sitting on a big fat stack of them. My bad. Send there, send full. Make sure they have some excess. Send that, send there. And one last one, send there. Wonderful. Now it should do it. I saw the dispatch costs, in they go. And hey, that's fine that that was delayed a bit because I needed time to get my toy train places ready. To that effect, I should certainly start out by having these ready. I need two more for the toy trains. And I need you to be bringing that wood there. Toy factory, I believe it was five. I'll go with five. And wood over here as well. Now, what I'm wondering is if these wood places are up to the task of supplying all this wood. The fact that the warehouse is not overflowing tells me probably not. Because what are we making? 15 every 5 days? Uh, every 15 days, rather. What are we consuming every 15 days? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Well, actually, it should be fine then. Should be fine. Yes, I am transporting iron ore by air. The only iron ore on the map available is in Germany. It's currently being exploited here to make drums and cans. But over here it was not being exploited, so I'm sending it over to this warehouse, which flies them over here, and then sends it up. Now, it's probably more sensible just to drive them over, but hey, we got access to Zeppelins, we'll use them. It's just funnier that way. Righto. Now I need my two other toy trains. Toy train set. Now, you use two every 30 days, and you make two every 15 days, 
So just one of you can supply... Hang on, I didn't do this right in my head again, did I? No, it was that I needed a, another one of you. That's it. Then we're fine. So to that extent... Yes, you should be going to the warehouse, but only if you have some left over. Otherwise, I want you guys to send your trains over to these factories. Factory, factory, factory. Factory, factory, factory. So, from Toy Factory 6 to 7, 8, and 9, to 7, 8, and 9. And then these Toy Factories... Choo Choo Choose Your Destination as that warehouse. And then this warehouse will take its Tier 3 item here. It is Tier 3, right? Is it only tier 2? Oh, I'm shocked and disappointed here. Still though, go and deliver those to the toy store, please. Meet demand. Sending max units just doesn't seem to work out for me when it comes to fulfilling small demands, so I'll pass on that. No, no fibers for you. Fix her upper. A wave of buildings has come up for sale at a great price. Logistic costs are down. All building costs are down. Hang on. Building costs are down by 25, 23, and another 25%. I'm about to get paid for building buildings now. If I want to build something that's traditionally very expensive... Oh. Minus... Oh, that's the loans thing. Okay, so it's only 50% off. My other thing that reduced it is gone. Still, that's okay. Now I need these bits of steel brought over to these toy factories. The thing is, you produce two every 15 days, and these guys only need one every 30 days, so I'm definitely overproducing here. But that does mean that I could just reduce... No, I don't have efficiency researched for you, do I? Hmm... What can I do with all this steel, then? There's certainly other uses for steel. Iberia, for example, has the Ironmonger. But Germany also has... No, not Germany. Who else has an Ironmonger? Uh, okay. I thought the game crashed there. It was just saving. Scandinavia? No. Was it Russia? It was Russia. I don't think that's worth going all the way to for. I do, however, have my Zeppelin set up in Iberia. That is my Zeppelin, isn't it? I can't even tell now. Yes, yes it is. So I could bring in other ironmongery things. But if I were to do barrels, cans, and steel, what else could I give these guys that they would meaningfully care about? Can't think of anything. What else can one do with steel? Tech tree, help me out here. What about my tins for my Christmas dinner? What's that under? Food? More tins for some canned mutton, but very few people would consume that. Same with the canned fish, and also we have no access to fish. Mm. Rail bridges are very cheap, Battlewin. Not even worth considering. A few dozen thousand, even for something as long as what I've made. It would be quite ch uh, cheap to make those tins. The trouble is the demand for the tinned goods is quite low. Uh, only two wanted per 15 days. And one of those only use it. Oh yeah. That's only one, uh, one tin can right there. Yeah, so it might just be that I end up with too much of this stuff being made. And these guys will eventually complain that they've got too much stored up, and then I won't know what to do.
Oh, you're not even sending them to your destinations, huh? You're going to 7, you're going to 8, and you now need to go to 9. Excessive pollution in my cotton fields? How can this be? I set up an air purifier. You're telling me it's not working hard enough? That excessive pollution will kill off that stuff, so... Cleaning level is high, it's working at 100%. Is it actually working, though? You're meant to be going to the air purifier. The air purifier has no water. And I suppose that's the problem, isn't it? Because I turned all these things down, because this ir irritation tower kept complaining about having too much water. Alright, well, you are back on the- that's right, I turned these off! How foolhardy. Alright, well, get back on and get that operational. Because I don't want these things dying on me. There we go, that cleans it away, and the cotton field will work again. Yeah, the irrigation tower. I'm calling the irritation tower, because for some reason this isn't working out, and I thought it would. Now they're all begging for their water. Alright, get it back all up to 100% then. And I look forward to it telling me that it doesn't uh, get enough... Uh, ...enough of the water anymore. Eh, leave it be. It'll sort itself out. Now, as for those trains, I'm expecting big money here. In fact, I have big money. Even though I did a lot of flattening, I have a dozen million, and I don't think... Oh, I've got no loans whatsoever. I could take out an Iberian 20 million loan if I feel plucky. But I'm not sure I do. Also, exaltation. The time has come to ask the age-old question, rabbits and eggs, how exactly? Eggs price and the demand up. Also... There's not enough water here. My god. I thought I'd turn these back on, but evidently not. Right, well I finally drank through all that water that wasn't getting used up enough, so at least that's going for me. Groovy. In that case, things are looking alright. And I even got my Zeppelin done. The question is, where do we go from here? Assuming everything we have set up right now is working fine, it's just a question of what else do I want to get into the business of. And there's a lot of red on the map that might tell you things aren't working fine, but in a bit of time it'll sort itself out. It's mostly my watery woes. What I could, would, or should do is just set them up to sell excess to the state, but I'd rather it just worked in better harmony. There we go, it's looking okay. So, what else do we want to do? Could certainly get some more efficient... Ooh, the ability to dunk my uh, research even faster sounds rather nice, so I'll get on that immediately. The thing is, people won't... Oh, what's this now? Ah, the Commonwealth wishes to grow! Serendipitous duck, as it were. The th I'm not particularly keen on building in the Commonwealth, because this land is meant to be my tinner land. It will be used to make the massive amount of industry that I need to produce Christmas tinner. So I don't want to touch it until the late game. Still, though, the Commonwealth cries out for things. I'll just pay it for them, because I don't really care about doing that. But what... Will I have them... What will I have for them here? I could do yet more toys. I could do yet more clothy things. Construction goods tend to be rather nice for me. Concrete and stuff. <laughs> Becoming tinner land. What a grim fate. Oh, it's going to be great for the Polish. And, you know, the other members of the greater Polish community. Looking at it, objectively as we do, 
it might be a good idea to set it up with another toy store because I could just take what I've set up here in England and double it. Heavens knows I don't have enough um, uses for all this steel. So if I just build exactly the same as I built here, mirrored in England, and double the amount of wood coming out of Ireland, I'm actually going to have that taken care of. Yeah, yeah, I like the sound of that. So well done, you're also going to be a, a toy store. Da-da-da-da. I, on the other hand, have a lot of extra building work to do in our, wait, Lumberyard 8, 7 and 8? Oh man. Eight, seven. I don't even know. I'll call you Lumberyard 9 then. And then if I copy 9, this should probably give me number 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Must be placed close to wood. You look pretty close to wood to me. Your problem is probably not enough wood, but I can plant a whole load of tree saplings around here. It'll take a while for it to grow into wood, but you'll be alright. But I still can't build that one. That's alright, I'll leave space for it. One, two, and then one, two, three, four, five. It's all very seasonal, actually, making the toys for the good girls and boys in France and the Commonwealth. Germany gets nothing, but what do German kids even want for Christmas? I mean, traditionally, today they probably all want iPhones and iPods and whatnot. Yeah, even that sounds dated. I want all this shoved into this other warehouse. Still says Warehouse 21, but no, I want them in Warehouse 22, you see? I could have a hell of a time renaming all of these. They want beer and lederhosen. Ah, uh, maybe some German kids. Okay, I still worry that... No, actually, since the, the wood is so tightly uh, condensed, this shouldn't be a problem. The problem I'm going to have is flattening this area enough for what I want to do. Or I could build it down here some more. There might be enough space to fit that in. No, not if I want to fill in that water, and I don't. I still want the UK to look like the UK, otherwise I just fill all this in with land. It would rip the soul out of Europe to just carpet over the water. Oh? Who just advanced? Eyes open for fire. Oh, it's the Commonwealth just finally celebrating getting their toy store. Flattening this is going to be pricey. I don't really want to do that. But... Sometimes you just got to do these things. doesn't like me doing that. What I should do is lower you one bit and then use that as my position to flatten from. Okay, is this even going to work so well though? Let's just assume it doesn't march on forward regardless. I'm going to have these ones go over. And again, I just want the same things I built here, but again. That's what every British person truly wants, just the same old nonsense. One, two, and this is much too short. These things need to be five along and this is not. Now, there are, there are ways that I could have these industries easily set up without having to terraform all this land for myself, but I know I want to have this stuff flattened out eventually. And I'd rather do this than have to scutter with moving all these things later on.
So here we go. Thankfully, making all these buildings is still nice and cheap for me. This one can be our fancy boy toy trains. It's number 10. Oh man, the numbers are going to be full of uh, redundancy. 7, 8, 9... 10, 11, and 12. Since they were all mimicked, they should all still be delivering to this warehouse. But that means this warehouse also needs to deliver properly to Commonwealthy. And that means you are probably going to want your own Zeppelin field. Because these days, that's how we transport things. What do you mean, can't afford? Don't give me can't afford. Give me money. Since I'm investing in the Commonwealth, surely the Commonwealth have a loan for me? Commonwealth are offering me 10 million. I'll take it. And I'll waste it. All the places for... Uh, all the permits per building are already out, so I don't need to worry about keeping money for that. That's right, not worrying about keeping money, as it should be. So, now, this warehouse should also be sending off... Hang on, am I not actually selling all those toys? No, you're sending them to Warehouse 3. What does Warehouse 3 do with them? Nothing! Ah, <laughs> that's bad. Whoops. Oh, well, it sells these fancy toys, but not the other one. I managed to keep forgetting that, like nobody's business. Okay, please do sell to Toy Store. Meet their demands. And sell the wooden toy trains over to Toy Store. And meet demands. And then, I want you to also send these over to Warehouse do, 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 18 by Zeppelin, and I want you to send as many as you can, and bring it up to, let's say, 20. And I need you to do the same with wooden trains. Don't like the fact that it bumps them down here, makes it harder to keep track of what I'm choosing here. I've already managed to forget. It's these things. Uh, send as many as you can, bring up to 20, send by Zeppelin. And do the same for the fancy-ass trains. Destination Warehouse 18. Send as many as you can. Bring over 20 by Zeppelin. And then, this warehouse. Bring the toy furniture over to the toy story. Meet demand. Wooden trains. Go there. Meet demand. And the really fancy trains will, surprise, surprise, go there and meet demand. Woo. Jake streaming late, not worrying about money, taking loans. Have you been kidnapped and forced to stream against your will? Yeah, I woke up feeling oddly Canadian today. It's referencing Baron Von Owen, obviously. Don't get any wrong ideas. These are all the fancy Dan trains, so... I'll have you over there, again, up to six. I'll have you over here, up to six. And you there, over to there, up to six. And this is nice, now I will not have overflowing amounts of steel, so it was very serendipitous to me that my good friend um, in the Commonwealth decided to grow, thanks to my help. So now you should be getting in wood. Or you should eventually be getting in your wood. This guy just doesn't seem to want to work for me. Probably because he doesn't have access to enough wood. But the wood will grow. I'm not concerned about that. Although perhaps I should be. Each of these harvesters want access to four plots of wood. And it's a little tricky to get it there. But overall, it's probably going to end up like this. Where they've got lush forests around. So, yeah, not concerned. Why would I be concerned? Concern is for other people. Still, though, you sent it to the warehouse, but the warehouse itself needs to be sending it out to more places. Uh, 
Where are we at? It's raw resources. Wood. I'm starting to wonder if having two different warehouses for this is a good idea. But too late to worry about it now. Send out there. Send fool, bring up to six. Send fool, bring up to six. I'm starting to wonder if I'd have an easier time if I just set it to bring up to ten. At least then it's only one click there. I could try that actually. Go there, send fool. Ah, oh, wow, that's wonderful on my fingers. Let's do more of that. It's uh, a lot of a buffer, perhaps too much of a buffer even. But at this point, a buffer of like $20,000 worth of wood isn't something that I'm even going to bat an eye against. My only thought is the repetitiveness of this task makes me really feel like I'm missing something. I did turn off the automatic aspect of the warehouses, and that's probably it, but when I had it on, it just didn't feel right. Oh, by the way, these toy factories actually give to to these places? Probably not. You go over to the warehouse, but I need you to deliver to these just like these guys do. Yeah, you go to those three and put excess to the warehouse. And you do much the same. So I'm going to have these two do exactly the same. Warehouse, only if you have excess. Good thing I noticed that, or else these guys would not be working to uh, to their maximum. So one, two, three. Toy, toy, toy. And you do the same. And yes, I see that the road isn't connected up. Don't you worry about it. 10, 11, and 12. And connect it up. Ah, the gentleman is saying good morning. He says Kiwi, so he's probably from uh, Australia. So, good day to you. Damn, just pulling your leg there. Is that my first shipment of toys heading over there? Yeah, it is. Zeppelin lands, the Zeppelin unloads the toys, and the toys come out of the warehouse. And over they go to the Toy Story. And lovely, they got stuff stored up for next time, so I'm not oversaturating them. They don't pay me very much money for my trains, though, but trains aren't very expensive for me to make. These guys are complaining about lack of goods, but that's just waiting for the wood to come in. I do feel a little sore from the lack of wood here, so let's just plant plenty so that future generations will have all the wood they need. Otherwise, I'm sure it'll sort itself out in due time. This guy's still showing red. Do they all lack the wood? That could well be the case. This guy's not got excess wood. Mm, I wonder if I'd benefit from building yet more wood down here. You know what? It couldn't hurt. This is probably about as high as my wood output of Ireland is ever going to get. So I might as well slam all these down while I can. One, two, three, four. Oh. There you go. Although that was off by one. Oh, you guys can share that. Hopefully that doesn't get too complicated. And they should have inherited the orders to send it to their specific warehouse. Wonderful. Oh, I like that. This guy's going to moan until these trees are operational. So I'm actually probably just going to tear you down. Lest you complain at me. Zeppelins are underrated. Real life had one little accident and then abandoned the whole idea. Yeah, but we humans are fickle like that. What's your problem? 
You've got the... You've got the water. But you're just not producing? I don't get it. Right, high time I thought about anything else that I want to invest in at this point. No direction for working towards jumps out at me at this point. Not a lot of people are asking for any of this kind of stuff. Shockingly, nobody is wanting beer right now. Or wine, I, I can't believe that. I have the textiles that I'm after. I have the toys that I'm after. I could go make dollies as well, but why bother? We're already on the stuffing. And paint to make Easter eggs. Now, a lot of these things are probably needed to make my prototype Christmas dinner, but we'll approach that when we get there. Currently, no one has demand for it, so it's not a big deal. We don't have refined oil, although nobody's asking for refined oil, which is another quite shocking thing at this point. So I might as well be looking towards things that I can improve on here. Speed on tunnels and bridges. Tunnels and bridges cost. Well, they don't cost anything right now, so it's not worth considering. Don't get that collection radius thing. I don't need more destination slots. Although, to be fair, just having it available might be quite nice. Zeppelins don't need to be faster. Actually, I'm not convinced that Zeppelins need speed at all. Same with trains. So perhaps working on my efficiency options is for the better here. My gatherers being able to work at double power really appeals to me. I never use the ones for farms or other things. But the, the one with the basic collectors speaks to me on a big level. Mm -hmm. Pre-made dinner. It's a shame nobody wants the berry pies. I'd love to produce dough into pies for them. And there's the chicken dinner. What's that? That looks like some bubbly orange juice that they want, but they want fried chicken, cooked vegetables and that. But again, nobody demands it. We need the cities to grow a bit for that. It does make it a little bit frustrating when cities just don't seem to grow. Because if they had more shops available early on, I'd feel more inclined to be going out for these other things. Teddy bear, how quaint. Oh well, press on as we are. That's not a problem with you lacking water, is there? Actually, Irrigation Tower here has no water, which might be the issue. And I turned on all these water things again, didn't I? Warehouse, are you the issue? Well, when in doubt, you could get yourself another water well. There you go, and if that's not enough, God knows what will be. Thinking about it, these guys could dare to have more... more output by upping production there, but I think it'll be fine. God, I love making this money. What a difference it is from our horrible debt-ridden days. Destination fool. Oh, so that's why you're not delivering. You want to deliver to a warehouse here, and this warehouse is full of wool because... why is that? I guess I just make too much wool. Ah, well the only place you're sending your wool is over to the Commonwealth. I should be thinking of other places that want wool. Germany wants wool, but Germany is saturated in wool because I send it to them by train. Don't tell me you're full of wool as well. Uh, you're not, which is good. Still, though. Russia, do you want wool? You do. That's a long way to go by truck, and I know someone would hate it if I sent trucks over there. So I'm sure this will hurt them quite a lot.
On you go. Mm, meet demand, meet demand. Oh, well, snow comes periodically in the game. I actually don't like it and I've been tempted to turn it off, but I also think it, it adds something visually to the game, so I'll keep it on. Right, there's still some issues over here. Why are you lacking wood? I suspect it's just because I'm not getting enough wood out of here. The empty warehouse reflects as such. No Vulcans, no wooden planks for you. Yeah, quite a few of these guys are moaning at lack of wood. And I, I get you, I really do. It might be that this isn't a sustainable setup for getting the wood, that it's too tightly packed together, but I just hope that it isn't. Still telling me that's cool, but this warehouse should be pumping out that uh, that wool soon enough. I doubt the wool issue is that bad. Oh, yeah, the Balkans don't take any wool, do they? Wait, they do? Have I just not been giving the Balkans their wool? Unthinkable. We love to give the Balkans all their wool. Onwards to that hardware store, please. Oh yeah, meet demand. Don't, don't fill them up too much with it. At least if you dislike it, you can rejoice when it dis- Oh, that's one way to look at it. Right, how are they doing with Iberia? I let them take over Iberia a while ago, and all they're doing is smogging it with textiles. There's their plantations, their cotton. Must be easy on the AI to have those water fields. They always build those instead of coastal harvesters. Uh, yeah, Russia... Well, the AI can do coastal harvesting, but he's doing it for sand over in Russia. The, the Russian player in right LLC is doing pretty badly. He initially went for the oil, gave up on it, and has since just been growing little bits of chocolate and cotton. The AI doesn't seem particularly... Um, competitive. Given that Scandinavia was, the, in my eyes, the worst place to start with, I'm pretty impressed with how Life LLP is doing. Jake, you oversaturated the wool market and stopped sending it to drive down the prices. I hope I was driving up the prices. Let's see. What's their current percentage markup on the wool? 138%. That I can get behind. Still got my Commonwealth PR event for another year and a half. And things seem okay. The lack of wood is a... It's only a little bit of a problem. And it's a problem that I'm fairly certain will normalize as time goes on. Hmm? Biddly bing? Water has been an issue for the region, but now it's gotten even worse. Water siphon efficiency is down. Um, well, that's all the more reason not to go with water siphons. And I really don't like these events. I wonder if I can just straight up turn them off. Probably not during this run, but probably if I ever come back to this and play a lot more on my own time. No. Probably something in the uh, the settings for the scenario itself. It's like you make something that works well and it just goes, Haha, nope, this thing isn't going to work the way you thought. And then uh, it's just like someone kicking over your, your Jenga tower. Events can be disabled, Jake. Really. I mean, I'm not going to do it here. I'm just going to roll with the punches. But later on, when I'm playing this for my own fun, I'll probably want to turn it off. Minimal money. Ooh. Where it is, though, I do not know, Kaladin. It'll be a while before this stuff stops giving me gr uh, grief. Yeah, I figured it's the scenario setting, but I don't think I can change that once I'm already in the game. 
Cost of te oh oh god, where have you been all my life? Cost of terraforming reduced by half is massive. I can make so much with that. Oh no 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 no! Life LLP. I can understand why you would want to be able to terraform, but that is mine. All right, glorious. Still not sure what else I want to be investing in at this point. Are you tempted to change Europe into the Netherlands? I'm flattening it for certain. Just because elevated land is such a pain to be building on. Is it worth me investing in these things? I'm just not seeing it. Nobody's asking for it. Or rather, what they're asking for is stuff I'm not particularly keen on making for them. Waffles, hard cider donuts, berry pies. Okay, I don't have access to oranges straight up. Maybe if there's a juice store that opens up, it would be good to have access to all of these. And I think orange soda is needed for one of my um, one of my projects down the line. At this point, I think I should get everything that's in the first two tiers. No questions asked. It'll save me time if there's something that I need to immediately jump on to research later on. Oh, are they actually being added to the list? They're not? Mm. Right, no rubber for you, Balkans. What I am interested in is my ability to terraform on the cheap. Does that include placing trees? I don't know. But flattening. Flattening being cheaper. Where do I want to use this the most? Where is a great opportunity for me to immediately put this to use? England I've already done quite a lot with. But just having England done in terms of flattening it seems rather nice. I think I've still got that loan out right now, which I'm wasting on this, but that's okay. There we go, England. Don't you feel so much better already? I had no idea there was a terraforming cost reduction event. Oh, there we go. I'll even help you out, Scotland. That's how generous I'm feeling. Any thoughts about third century crises in Dio? What? Stupid questions get stupid answers. Right, what else? What else? Northern Italia could be dealt with. Can you sink land and build artificial islands? You totally can. Let's say we want to resurrect Atlantis. Yep, it cannot be done. It, it can be done. Cannot be afforded by me right now, though. And similarly, we can sink. In fact, if I wanted to sink the Netherlands, it would be as easy as pie. But I'm not going to, because it's expensive and making water isn't going to help me out much here at all. Just trying to think what I can do with this. Even with the reduced cost, flattening southern France is a bit too much to ask. That said, France has demands that I just don't fill. They still want their mutton and cocoa and potatoes and even chickens and hops and sugar. All this stuff I could be giving France to help it grow faster. But I just didn't, because I looked at the lack of land and went, yeah, not going to happen. But now, now could be a new age for France. Well, that is relatively free to do, given the amount that I'm doing here. Somebody who likes playing this game with uh, elevated maps is probably weeping horribly, but not me. Get that... Oh, okay, that might be a little too expensive, even with the reduced costs there. Because uh, the Alps are a bit high. Well, I'll take care of them. Okay, France. 
For a long time you've been denied your veggies, your potatoes. That's funny, why are you denied your grapes? I make grapes in these orchards for you. What's your problem? What I can do then is I can set up an irritation tower right about... Hmm, the thing is they're already set up with water. Do I feel like tearing all these down just to make my own new setup? It might be for the better. Because these guys just send it straight to the farmer's market. If I tore it down and made uh, a better thing here... I suppose anything... Oh, you go to the warehouse. Why do you go to the warehouse? And the warehouse then takes it to... the. That's just going... But oh, right, it takes it over to Germany. But as long as you're not sending it to production facilities, it might be in my interest to tear all this stuff down and then just build a nice farming area here for all of France's needs. Yeah, why not? We'll live dangerously. We'll tear it all down. What about this thing? Do we tear you down as well? Probably not. Well, actually... Yeah, you know what? Away you go. Wait, for all I know, you were giving water to something that truly needed... Ah, forget it. Down it goes. Down it all goes. All these buildings we built so long ago. It's very generous of the bank to give us so much money for them, I gotta say. These were going to this warehouse and then sending them down into Iberia, weren't they? That still makes me decent dosh. Probably not a great idea to tear them down too. Probably not, he says. So what am I thinking? Maybe I could tighten things up by ooh, getting rid of this for one. Who would believe it was actually a temporary solution? Precisely. Mm, I don't like that for a number of reasons. Could I have you come in here? I don't want to clog up this warehouse that already gets its stuff in like that. Probably just set up my irrigation tower around here. Which doesn't really need a road, now that we know how it works. But it probably still is a good idea to have one. And now, I build up all the farms that France wants. How many did we get out of these things? It's every 30 days, so we want two vegetable farms, if nothing else. Oh, you want wool! Oh, I could even set you up with some mutton, if you like. But Fran the French don't eat... Straight up grain, only vegetable chompers here. So, so. First. One, two, three, four, five. And it's not, uh, it's not that, it's vegetables. And hmm, this is the main way up through into France, so it's probably not best to have it join up into that uh, the way it does right now. It's going to get a little busy, so it might actually be more beneficial to have you lock in on somewhere like this. But only after I have another one of you set up and I see how it pans out. looking, he's judging. Yeah, how about that? And then I can have the road come up through here, like so. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. What else are we wanting for poor wrenchy boy here? He wants his grapes, and one grape farm should be able to take care of that. One of my elevated grape farms. It won't take care of all of it, but it'll do enough. That's an orchard. Mm, one, two, three, four, five. He's trying to run his numbers. It's 
Not sure if he's succeeding though. One, two, three, four, five. Very nice. Get ourselves the grapes. And you're going to want your raw rubber as well. You want ten of those coming in, so you actually want two rubber farms up, which is probably what I had before. Seems to me that you're already getting your water. Are you counting that as your own storage? Hmm, he's not sure. One, two, three, four, five. And another. One, two, three, four, five. What else do I want these guys to have? I want them to get their cocoa, and I want them to get their potatoes. And actually, I want them to get their chicken. But they don't take eggs, so maybe I won't give them their chicken. But I want them to get their hops as well. Jing, so much farming to be done. I've managed to forget what I was going to give them. Cocoa was probably one of them, though. One, two, three, four, five for cocoa. Oh, and I have sugarcane uh, researched already. So two sugar plantations as well. Jing, so we're going to be getting busy here. Two, three, four, five. Sugar cane. One, two. Not really sure France has the climate for growing sugar cane, but I've been surprised before. And now, what else? You want hops and you want tatties. You want. Actually, one bit of hops is going to be overkill. And Tate's one will be underkill, and underkill is okay. And it's all still within the... oh, comfortably within here. In fact, we could do them over here, no problem. Farm, crop farm. Hang on, is crop good for hops? No, but it's good for Tate's. wonder if I'm growing a little too close to the city here. Probably. Let's not do it that tight. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, I think it's just four. One, two, three, four. Attack is farmed. One, two, three, four. Five, and get my farm set up for what was the other one I was wanting? Hops, right? Hops are done where? Game, tell me about hops. Grown on a crop farm. One, two, three, four, five. Five was enough for them though. Yeah, five was enough for them. Now I dread to think how chaotic this is going to get with all the car with all the trucks going to and fro. So what's my best way to do this? Where should I be having my warehouses? And I probably should be doing it by warehouse. Trying to grow sugarcane in France seems to be an economics lesson in comparative damage. Come now, we're gonna make it work. Sending out all these individual trucks. Actually, in the end, there are going to be individual trucks going to France's food place. Where is their food place though? It's harder to see when it's all wintry. Where's that farmer market at? Come on, eyes, activate. Is that it? I think if I tab enough, it'll show up. Ah, it's all the way over there. Then perhaps I should make my, uh, my things more dense. Come 
not thrilled about this setup. But how about this? If they come in through here, and then it pops out and back up through that way, and that can take in all of these guys. Oh, that's the wrong way around. But that probably means I can just do a mirrored one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So these are all going to feed into here, become dense, and then shoved out into the farmer's market. The orchards, I probably want a, another one for that. Because I can make them dense here and then shove them out up the top, which is seldom used. And while I'm at it... Keep it flat. come in that way gracefully or would it just cause congestion issues? I'm not sure. But shove it in like so anyway. It does mean all these ones that go in there are going to be coming out and round like this. Might cause issues, but it also might not. So let's have faith. Did I really want three orchard farms? I feel like that's not right. What else would I be doing here? Rubber. I wanted two on rubber. Nice that they can replant as quickly as they do. Okay, let's make it happen then. Destination is everything gets shoved into there. Then I'm going to set the destination of the warehouses, and then I'm going to put in the water. And then we should have a considerably nicer setup for France. Should. I mean, who knows how it's actually going to go. Not this guy. Centralization of pouring things into warehouses. It makes more sense now than it did at the start, in my opinion, but I am open to the idea that I'm completely wrong on that one. I'm also open to the idea that I've lost track of time and perhaps lost control of my life here, but that's okay. It's not like I need to be on my A-game tomorrow for the weekly one-shot. Maybe I want a way for you to wrap back into here. It means that these guys have an easier time. Could make it a one-way thing. Ah, no, we'll just have it two ways. Why worry about these things? Okay, do you guys all have destinations? Goody. In that case... It's all farm produce here, isn't it? Your veggies... Go to farmer's market, meet demand. Your... Tatties... Go to farmer's market, meet demand. And your sugar... Go to market, meet demand, and cocoa. Go to market, meet demand. This isn't just for making money, because this stuff isn't going to make me tons of money. It will make me money, though. This is more about growing France, which I do want to keep on growing for me. Now, warehouse, grapes, over to farmer's market, and meet demand. I do worry they're going to get them in one at a time and just shoot them out one at a time, which is not at all what I want. I'll keep something of an eye on it, I guess. Raw rubber over there, meat demand. Alright, ah, but one thing I am missing is enough water for these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's probably going to need five water wells. This game is crazy on the amount of water that it wants out of you. And water wells are rather pricey. Can I just shove you around here? Yes, I can. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one more for good luck. There we go. Hopefully that all works. 
find out soon enough, I suppose. Yeah, this is what the increased development button looks like for a few hundred years later. Uh, crop farms don't seem to be wanting to work. Come on now, irritation tower. Wow, look at those trucks go. But at a glance, it doesn't seem to be causing issues. You really aren't getting all, all your water, are you? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe the water's being used on this, but it should be sucking up from that water well as well. I think it'll balance out nicely. However, in the case that it's not bouncing out nicely, I can shove some of these on 200%. And then that'll fill it up with water after a wee while. I would love more in the way of quick action so that I could quickly uh, do a lot of macro stuff here. Oh god, that's... That's getting full up. But it's only periodic, so it's not a problem yet. Ah, there we go. The winter is over. Paper roll. Alright, we'll drop these back down to 100%. And hopefully it won't mono go not getting what it needs. Can't go back to origin. See, that happens every now and then. But we know you can. You've been going back to your origin this whole time. You go in to there. And then you pop out, and you come down, and over, and up, and back through. What's the problem? I think they'll eventually get their truck back and then stop being so confused. Unless you really do have issues, in which case I have no idea where you're having them. There's nothing complex about this. Why can't he get back? Anybody can come through around here? Hmm. I, I just don't get it. What's your problem? Maybe if I just ignore it, it'll go away. Not a scooby what to make of that. Right, I still have my terraforming thing for a wee while, if there's anywhere else I want to flatten out. For now though, I gotta say, economically, things are going swimmingly, despite me dumping quite a lot in R&D lately. I'm getting plenty. Also, this is another nice problem to have, those trees have come through. And now, we actually have too much wood. Lovely problem to have. Actually, I don't mind that problem. It does tell me I could probably reduce these guys, but I'll just live with that. And the Balkans are not getting those eggs. Not worthy of them. It's going to keep telling me that. I wonder if there's a way to disable being notified about it. Ah, there we go. I can turn it off. Which I assume means you're going to stop moaning about being fool, because I, I'm fine with you being fool. These wood things are not expensive to have operational, and if they're not cutting, then they could be sowing more trees. And you... <laughs> England is busy being clartered with pollution as it should be. And stuff is going out to make France prosper and Commonwealth prosper. Well, the Commonwealth could be prospering more and faster. Now oh, this is quite glorious. 
Let's just add a lot less of that. I'm still struck with the same question I have often, which is what now? Well, I'm going to pay off that so I'm not paying 10% uh, extra on it. But where do we go from here? Even if the resources that I'm tapping the ground for run out, I don't think it would be a big deal. I don't know if I'd make money on importing steel to, or importing iron to continue to make my toy trains. But there's still plenty of coal. If the gas went out, all I'd lose is selling raw gas and a few bits of chemicals. So, I ask again, what now? The towns... I kind of wish the towns grew a bit faster so I had new things to be making for them. Christmas dinner can't even be looked into until somebody is asking for it. And right now, nobody's close to asking for it. I guess Iberia's the closest, but they already got their extra shop, didn't they? And it's clothing. Iberia grows at a remarkable pace, though. I'm going to assume that's all down to me. Because that's a sane assumption to make. The AI is doing diddly squat with the land, though. Yes, it can. I mean, I can look towards some of this stuff, but it's not going to give me the tinner. And again, nobody wants a nobody wants a chicken dinner. Not even the Germans who did set up a grocery store. Although they do want canned mutton. Trouble for me is that uses up my very valuable steel. I thought I told you no more alerts. Here. Oh, you're telling me that these guys are full. Well, again, I. I'm fine not having any alerts for any of these guys. There we go. Don't bother me with any of that, please. Takes a long time to finish all the research. Oh, don't doubt that. What I'm hearing, though, is it might be a good idea to grab this stuff while we're not researching anything else so that we're ready for tinner when it comes. And I can dump more money into my research since we have that unlocked as well. Yeah, you don't deserve my rubber commonwealth. So yeah, even if I make my tinners, nobody's there to eat them right now. I wonder how long it's going to take for these places to grow. Commonwealth is supposedly prospering, although to be fair, I don't supply it with that much, do I? I give them some grapes, a little bit of cocoa. I thought I periodically gave them eggs and mutton, but I could be wrong on that one. Ulsto what? Oh, dear God, was I not selling the napkins. I have been... Wait, no, we do sell napkins. We even meet demand. Ah, I say wait until full, which means they waited to send out three, which they couldn't. So all this time, I've not been selling those napkins. That's a bit of a shame. Are you backing up on anything else then? Not really, but now I've got too many napkins. But the Balkans isn't the only clothing store out there. Um, Iberia would take them if I sent them over to Iberia. And I have a whole bunch of them, it wouldn't hurt. Sure, terraforming's still cheaper as well, so nothing stopping me just going, hey, let's go and share these napkins with our Iberian cohorts. So, 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 so. Tier... I can't believe napkins are tier 3. Madness. Cost of going over there is pretty damn steep, so send as many as you can by Zeppelin. Err... Uh, maybe not send all of them? Actually, do send all of them. That way, they're all over there. I still produce plenty uh, here. Maximum kept. Yeah, keep like... Keep... F gee, I don't know, 6 on hand. And then this warehouse, sell those napkins over to the clothing store and meet demand, but don't go for sending maximum. 
My question is, how many Zeppelins can this thing send out at once? There's one, there's two. Okay, so quite a few. Why napkins of all things? I don't know. They just hadn't discovered the idea of napkin for a long time. I just used to use dock leaves. Nature's napkin, that. Not only that, it worked great on nettle stings. And I got stung by nettles a lot as a kid. So great, this place will... Oh wow, wow, we sent over those napkins at breakneck speed. Which means I don't really need to send over more of them, so... Once the last one arrives, we'll just cease doing that. I expected this one to get full. Again, not a problem, so don't let me know about it. No leather for Germany. I gotta say, things are going pretty swell. I would love to work on my chicken tinner, my Christmas tinner right now, but nobody, nobody would have it. We need to have the showroom thing. Maybe that's something that I could do, but I'm not aware of. Region, contract, headquarters, loans, opportunities, advancements. No, nothing available. Mm -hmm. Unlock these HQs. Rural industry product prices. They're all specialization stuff and they reduce some things, so I'm not sure I'm interested in any of those. My girlfriend tells me dock leaves did nothing for nettle stings other than keep the child distracted looking for the leaves than purely as a placebo. Ah, that makes sense. I'd tell a kid to go and do that. Gee, what does it take to be able to get my Christmas tinners operational? Seems like a long wait on... Yeah, this population's barely going up despite supposedly prospering. It's okay, it doesn't have to be the Commonwealth that takes it. I just need somewhere that's willing to take the tinner. And ridiculously enough, Iberia is the place that is leaping ahead. Scandinavia is still looking good too, though. Alright, so if we just sit back, this is cruise control for loads of money united. Which is fine... All build it. Yeah, that is instantly worth it. Gimme, gimme, gimme. But France does not deserve my fiber, even though we are in France. Hang on, is there still gas to be pumped out here? I turned off it's showing, didn't I? Yeah, there we go. Still plenty of gas, although that's about half the gas we started with. And I think that's slightly less than half the oil we started with. Hmm. Nice. I like it. I also like the fact that I haven't cared one bit about pollution. Well, except for this one bit right here. I think this is the only... no, it says two. I set up another one somewhere, didn't I? Yeah, I set one here to keep uh, Germany free from pollution. But otherwise, I don't see why you would care. Just pollute, but don't pollute anything you care about, and then you're good to go. Lovely. Mm, these, these are fine. These glassworks smelters periodically don't get enough goods to keep making the glass. But that's fine, because we make all the ceramics we need. Maybe that's why Iberia was doing so well. I've supplied them with their... where is it now? I've supplied them with ceramics for a very long time. Perhaps such a high-level good helps them along nicely. Don't get me wrong, game, I'm happy enough to be making buckets of ducats here, but I want to get started on my chicken tinners. But if nobody buys them, then what's the point? The production chain for making the Christmas tinner 
I'm told, is enormous, ridiculously enormous even. Maybe I should use this terraforming reduction in cost that I still have available to prep the land for it. Sorry, Carpathian Mountains, but you are no match. There we go. This should be ample space for what I plan on doing. Should. Might not be. It'd be quite funny if it wasn't. But it's all good and flat. And we can just have it rolling down until the Commonwealth is just printing out the tinners on this end. Oh, that's a thought. This whole area is actually elevated by one. Maybe nobody needs to know that. Oops, oops. Oh, that cost me money. There we go. Is there a way to win, says Alan Oaks? There is, actually. But where is it? Where's the win condition thing? Is that under help panel? Query tool? Scenario overview. There we go. So in order to win, we need to make 50 million, which we have quite comfortably. And we need to produce 100 Christmas tinners. That could be a little tricky at this rate, because I'm not seeing how we're able to even start making that. I don't know what level of town progression I can start doing one of my... Um, doing one of my prototypes. It just doesn't seem available to me. You don't need to sell them, it seems. No, but I certainly want to. I'll need to make some of that money back. Metropolis, the final level. What kind of, uh, or rather, what population is needed for Metropolis? Right LLC offers to buy the permit for Boston. I don't know what Boston is, but you're not getting that. Nobody gets my build permits. Probably a million, come to think of it, and that's a, that's a ways away. See the Balkan at 222. I do worry that uh, Commonwealth just doesn't grow as much as I would like it to. Again, I barely supply it with any of these things. It might be better to put all of my eggs in one basket. Well, no, France gets a lot of things. In fact, France gets... Let's see, in terms of these things, I do give the... Oh my god, don't tell me I didn't actually sell them all the goods. I noticed zero vegetables in stock. No, they get their, they get their goods there sold. Probably says zero sold because they just, uh, zero in store because they just sold a bunch of it. If I wait for something like the 28th, I'll see what they are getting. So there we go, they're getting veggies, tatties, grapes, sugar. I never gave them their hops, did I? Oh, oh, I probably have too many tatties. Yep, this was not meant to be tatties. And come to think of it, they're full on cocoa as well. I'm surprised they're full on cocoa. Why? Do I send cocoa there from elsewhere? Maybe I send this cocoa over somehow. Why am I not surprised? I already had cocoa set up for this route. Alright, that's fine and all, but this crop farm shouldn't be on tatties. It should be on hops. Yes, I want to switch that out. Yes, I want to shove those hops over here, and yes, I want to have farm produce hops sent to France. Just trying to competitively grow France against my competition. If cocoa is being sent over, well, maybe I shouldn't be sending that cocoa over. I could turn off one of these plantation fields. And then there'd be less being brought over, or I could just turn off the route that sends the cocoa over to here. Because it's starting to back up a bit. Well, you already have that sent over there, so I can just tell this thing to stop doing that. Because we already have cocoa being produced here. That should sort some of my issues, we'll see if anything else is backing up. Tat is because I was producing too many of them. But France consumes slightly more than I produce now, so that won't be an issue. 
Otherwise... Nope, all looks good. All looks very good, even. You even getting your grapes in there? Mm, I'm seeing something I don't like. Sending out one bit of rubber, sending out one bit of grapes, sending out one, oh, well, three this time. I don't want them to send out one, ever. But if I tell them to only send maximum amounts, they won't fill demand as much as I need them to. So I don't know what to do about that. Really don't know what to do about that. That actually makes things very awkward for me. I want them to wait at least a little bit, or really... Oh well, do what you can. Yeah, Calden, do you know the population for Metropolis? Give me an idea of what I'm meant to be aiming for here. What else can I do for France to help you grow better? I'll already give you plenty of toys. Plenty of food. Although I'm not giving you chicken meat, I don't want to. I don't give you any gas or oil or coal. None of which I'm particularly keen on selling you raw. I guess coal wouldn't be the worst thing, because I can ship it from here over to France easily enough. I could be extracting more, it's true. Ah, on we go then. A little bit of cheeky extra coal. And I'll even have you work double time to making 400% pollution. That's all right. It's all for Blighty's sake. And then we send it over to that warehouse. If and when we have any left over. And then this warehouse can send any excess raw coal over to the hardware store. Meet demand, send when full. Again, my problem there is that they'll send three, then three. Oh, it's, ooh, France wants quite a lot of coal. I'll take it back then, it's all yours. Storage is full, Toy Factory 10. Oh, I didn't tell them to send their toys. One of these are full as well. Probably got backed up from these things. Uh, then again... Maybe I'm just making these faster than I thought. Building discounted toy... <laughs> Half price on toy factories, but I have plenty of toy factories right now. 750,000 population is Metropolis. Well, getting Iberia there doesn't seem too intimidating. And even France is making reasonable leaps and bounds. Oh, speaking of, I, I thought that was Iberia. Who's celebrating? Scandinavia is. Ugh, clothing store. Not what I hope for. When Iberia grows, is that going to be a problem for me? What if I'm not the one that gets to do the prototype? 285729. How much are you growing every... 15 days, assuming it is 15 days. About a thousand. That's a long time to wait for that to grow. What's your problem orchard thing here? Is it lack of water? Lack of water has been an issue around here every now and then. Mm. I'll tell you what, we have ways around that. of steel with nowhere to send it. Hmm. The showroom accepts all prototypes, growth speeds up, the more desires you fulfill. That's why I'm trying to shove France with plenty of its uh, desires here. But maybe the problem is that I'm only partially filling it. Partially supplied, partially supplied. 
Well, they're growing enough, surely. But then why is Iberia growing as much as it does? They're barely getting anything in there. Maybe just pottery is so good. 494... 4947 becomes 49. Still 47. Does a watched clock never uh, never tick? 4947. Still 4947. Oh, but they grew again. Prospering, and now oh, they got two of them. Well, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Brandy, beer, hard cider, whiskey, vodka, wine. I've been waiting on this, and why are you still... How? Uh, what could it mean? You clearly have a route around here. Why can you not make this journey? Uh, they just want to, mo uh, want to moan at me. Right. Ignoring all these problems, we have a breakthrough. Uh, this is this is not your orange soda home here. No. Well, no and yes, but mostly no. Let's get ourselves that whiskey. And the way I see it, Scotland should be the place that makes all the whiskey, and terraforming is still cheaper. So, 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 so... Let's get terraforming. Bye-bye, Highlands. Who would have known it was this easy to remove the Highlanders? Excellent. And, you know, bye-bye Hebrides every now and then. Missing permit. This is my land. <laughs> this is the real Highland clearances. Okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? Well, I need to make sure I can actually make this stuff. It's not under drinks, it's under liquor. Oh man, that means getting rid of my chicken dinner. Some sacrifices have to be made though. Brandy, vodka, beer, grain whiskey. We want it all. Turns out I need barrels to get there. Oh, barrels. They need wood. Thank you, England. You'll be making my barrels for me. Now, beer. Beer needs a bunch of things, but it would make sense to make our beer in Germany. Vodka. Vodka out of potatoes and yeast. Yes, please. No need for biofuel, but we will want brandy. Is there any other booze that you're looking for, Iberia? They want books, but uh, screw books. Hard cider. Did I see hard cider there? Beer, grain whiskey, wine, brandy, vodka. Oh, hard cider's a real early one to do. Alright, it's become clear, but it's also become clear to me that it's about midnight, so I'm gonna need to hang up my boots for tonight. Right, the way forward is pretty clear. I still do want to carpet Europe in industry, though. But the way towards getting our chicken dinner seems to be possible. If we keep flooding Iberia with liquor, it should continue to grow and then accept prototypes. And when it can, the Commonwealth is going to be where we just carpet this area with everything we need to make Christmas dinner. And once a hundred of those pop out, we win. Although a hundred seems like quite a lot, come to think of it. Apparently it takes, what, like a year to make one? I don't know, scary to think about, but we'll see see when we get there. And now it's a case of setting up that well. I'm probably gonna do this with a lot of Zeppelins because my attempt at trains has been less than stellar. One, uh, there's not a lot of great space for making the wheat over in Scotland. Mm, but it can be grown here and matured here as long as England supplies the barrels, can't it? Talk to me, recipe book. Ooh, whiskey. Three bits of wheat. A wooden barrel. 30 days. 
done in a distillery. Surely that doesn't produce um, pollution. And their hunger for whiskey is enough for me to need four of these. Hmm. But it shouldn't take too much grain. Yeast, on the other hand, is just water and sugar. Easily enough done. Didn't Germany want yeast at some... Yeah, Germany wants yeast, so I could be making yeast in Germany as well. Yeast and beer down here in this relatively nice land for it. Which I could, would, and should terraform while the going is good. Don't know how much longer I have that, but... Oh, that's pretty damn good. Now I've got a lot of good area for building in Germany with... Oop. We're building in Germany with... Wait, what? I said get it done. Maybe I didn't say it with enough authority for the Germans to understand. I might even make use of some pollution reduction. I'm gonna get rid of this as well. Don't want all these humps and bumps around here. It's getting in the way of progress. Hmm, almost done. Just Britifying Germany for what I need. Great. Germany on the beer, Scotland on the whiskey. Which country is known for its cider? I mean, England's not growing anything out of the ground. This place is... Well, life is forfeit in England. But at yeah, glorious Scotland and even in lush Ireland, things are looking good. Now make my blessed barrels. Okay, I'm getting carried away, which is a bad sign. Let's save up for now. New one here with Christmas dinner six. We'll be back with more of this. Oh, it won't be till next Tuesday, I think. That sounds reasonable. But until I am back with more of this, it's a cheers and a cheerio.